Hello my lovely gamers, my name is Journal and today, first of all before I start the video, I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy the content, I hope you guys enjoy everything that goes on here. So with no further ado, today's video is another episode of Meta Talk, the series where I cover meta strategies and tactics in Overwatch. If you're not familiar with this video series like some of the new subscribers might not be, then there's an introduction to this video series down in the description. And today we're taking a look at something that is called kiting an ultimate. Now kiting an ultimate is something that really helps especially for I would say higher ranks, it's more in the higher ranks that people start getting more familiar with this. Of course in lower ranks in, in competitive people have problem with basic stuff like aiming, strafing, mobility, ability usage. And therefore, in those levels, you yelling kite that ultimate probably won't mean a lot since the position anyway will be off. But when you start getting up to a little bit of those higher ranks, Platinum, Diamond, Master, Grandmaster, your top 500, or you play on a team, and especially on the you play on a team part, cutting ultimates is very very important because it's a good way that you can counter an ultimate without actually burning anything and making the enemy team waste their ultimates. So what is kiting an ultimate? Well essentially it's very straightforward. Let's say that they pop tactical visor, you have the death ball mean, you have Reinhardt. Essentially what you do is that your Lucio will just speed you out backwards while you're protected by your Reinhardt shield so your team can get behind cover. While the enemy team advances with the tactical visor, your team is just backing out. They have no you're not you're not already invested in the fight. You're not like inside the enemy spawn room. You just kinda Going in, they pop their ultimates maybe a little bit too early, you haven't committed to the full engagement and therefore you're saying just cut the ultimate, you fall back, you wait out the ultimate and then you re-engage. This is a great way for you not to walk into a death trap. And a lot of time you can actually force the enemy to use ultimates if you push up and you, you know that you have more damage output, you have more durability than the enemy team and you know that they have a certain ultimate. Normally stuff like Dragon Blades or ultimates are very hard to kite, but stuff like they have drop beat, you know they have tactical visor, high noon, something that you can actually outlast, like whole hog, then what you do, you just get in there, you start dealing damage, and, and as time goes by, if the enemy is a little bit slow on burning their ultimates, because a lot of time they are in competitive, which I talked about in my ult usage, a lot of time people hold their ultimates a little bit too long, uh, but if you're standing there long enough for a certain amount of time, until maybe your shield breaks and then you have to reach out, that a lot of time they will burn their ultimates, and that time you can just fall back, then you have making sure that the enemy team's ultimates have been used and they've been wasted on absolutely nothing. Now normally that is not how it works, neither on a team or anything, because normally you want to play 110% aggressive and making sure that the enemy team actually can't use their ultimates, and if they do, they're using them inefficiently. So what normally do is happen is that whenever the engagement happens, and you can see this on most maps, there are a couple of situations where you will be caught in bad positions and then there's nothing you can do about it. And as I said, there are certain ultimates that are really hard to cut, such as Dragon Blade, because they're really up in your face before you can do anything about them. But stuff like Tactical Visor, for example, which is one of the strongest ultimate in the game. If you know they have it, just place yourself in a position with your team, make sure that you stand behind your Reinhardt, your main group, you have your Lucia with you, and as soon as they pop Tactical Visor, you kinda just run away. You make sure that you run away with your team, right, stay behind that, and fall back so that your Reinhardt is not left alone, because if he is left alone with his shield up, then they'll just kill your Reinhardt, and then there's no use for you kiting an ultimate because they killed the Reinhardt, you anyway have to wait for the reset, right? So you fall back with the Reinhardt, you you push them with whatever range damage and DPS that you have, you get back, you wait for the ultimate to go off and then you re-engage, hopefully with some of your old ultimates. And by that you have gained a huge advantage because they just burned one of their game-changing ultimates on absolutely nothing. So that's that guys, I hope you enjoyed, this is just a very short video here while I have my exams, while we have team practices. Uh, and all that and you know it's just a short video of something a concept that can be very very uh, smart to understand and have in the back of your head to do a call especially if you play on a team but also if you start playing more in competitive and you play a couple with your friends especially if your friend you know you have the Lucia you have a Reinhardt maybe you are then the third guy you play in Platinum a lot of people I see three stacks so that you have a tank a healer and a DPS on your team that you know are actually pretty good because in those lower ranks that's not always something that happens and you know that okay they're gonna use this ultimate we're just gonna back out and then you can do that call to just you don't have to say kite ultimate you can just say just back out back out back out that way you make sure that you don't lose anything and you gain a huge advantage so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then press like if you dislike then dislike subscribe if you're new to the channel if you like what i do here if you like the content 
put it down in the comments if there's anything that you're wondering about, anything, any topic that you want me to cover and join the discord community if you want to talk to me talk to the community and have any other video requests maybe want me to review a coaching video and see if i can do that then that's discord where really most of that got on link to that so of course down in the description if you want to keep updated on the channel and on my team in general me as a competitive overwatch player then you can follow me on twitter link as to that is also down in the description i hope you guys enjoy i've been Jonal, and as always guys keep the enemy in your crosshair